The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. In the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, tetrarch of the region of Eutheria and Tranquinitis, and Lysanias was tetrarch of Abilene. During the high priesthood of Anas and Cephas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the desert. John went throughout the whole region of the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one crying out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord, make his straight his paths. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be made low. The winding roads shall be made straight and the rough ways made smooth and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Sisters and brothers, the good news of our salvation. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Let's begin by asking the Holy Spirit to be upon us all. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share with the heart, with humility and with love, and not just with the lips. And the people who listen, listen with their heart, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit. Sisters and brothers, 20 days before Christmas. Christmas is in the air. Right? Christmas in the air. Marami na mga dekorasyon. Father Don Don, dami nang dekorasyon dito sa Mission Home. And I heard sa labas, may marami mga ilaw-ilaw. Nagbibuild up na po. Christmas is in the air. But today, John the Baptist tells us Christmas is in the heart. As you decorate, lahat po yan, okay po yan, but don't forget the heart. Kumusta naman ang puso mo? Handa na ba to welcome the Lord? You know, ang isang analogy I always use is your heart is like the manger where Jesus was born, but is your heart filled with thumbtacks, barbed wire, broken glass, filth, basura? Handanaba. So there it is for you and for me, John the Baptist. John the Baptist, you know, I was thinking why they mentioned all these names. The first, Pakinga Punyo. Oh, who was the ruler at that time? Tiberius Caesar. Wow, mga may position. Pontius Pilate, procurator of Judea. Herod, tetrarch of Galilee. Philip, his brother, tetrarch of the region of Ituria, Traconitis, and Lysanias. I believe Caiaphas was the high priest and all that. They mentioned these great names and their positions. Ang galing po ng pasok ni St. Luke. And the word of God was spoken to John, son of Zechariah, in the desert. 
And he went about proclaiming a baptism of repentance which led to the forgiveness of sins. Insignificant person with a powerful message. Yung mga nakaupo, ano yun, mga may position, and all that, power. But a simple person came with a powerful message. We should all think about that. God uses prophets. And, as it were, parang yung message ni John the Baptist was totally new and parang... I don't know how the word counterflow. Ito ang flow, power, riches, and all. And here comes somebody who says, no. Change of heart. Yan ang importante. I guess, as we talk about the elections, and dami na mga program, ganon ko na ano. What if somebody will just come and say, no, importante, baguhin natin ang ating mga ugali, mga puso. We go back to God. That for me, is powerful. Maybe that's what we all need. Change of heart. Let's all go back to God and goodness. Anyway, speaking of counterflow, I remember a story about uh, a wife who called the husband, a senior citizen, who was out driving on the freeway, you know, and the wife said, Honey, I just heard on the news, there's a car going on the opposite direction. Nagka counter flow sa freeway. Be careful, honey. Be careful. You know? And then, quiet at the end of the other line. And then the old man said, oh no, honey, there's not only one car. There are hundreds of them. <laughs> Siya pala yung counter flow. Well, maybe this is what Christianity many times is, counterflow. When we have to say, no, this is wrong, we have to proclaim God's word. Hence, we have prophets. And prophets are usually not welcome. They are persecuted, and many of them are even killed to silence them. The blood of prophets and martyrs will continue to rise. Siguro po, we ask ourselves, baka masyadong you're so comfortable, you don't raise issues, okay lang, basta don't disturb me. I don't want to be disturbed. Sisters and brothers, John the Baptist, this tells us to take a stand. Whatever it takes, stand for your God. And um, it's not easy. Everybody is talking about pagpapabango. <laughs> Yun, pabango kayo ng, tayo ng pabango, pabanguhan. We should be talking of pagbabago. Sisters and brothers, otherwise, what do they call it? Cosmetics lang yan. Palliatives. At marami kasi nagiging dormant. One of our staff was talking yesterday about dormant, dormant accounts sa bank. May mga dormant kasi. Hindi ako makarelate. Ano ba yung dormant? Sabi ko kay Father Conrad. Anong ibig niya sabihin? Dormat ba yung dormat? <laughs> ah, kapatid, Christianity many times is being a doormat. Inaapak-apakan lang. But we continue to stand witness to our great God. So, mga kapatid, um, what was the message of John the Baptist? Listen. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight His paths. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain shall be made low. The winding roads made straight, rough roads made smooth, and all flesh shall see 
the salvation of God. Isaiah. Sisters and brothers, ito po ang kailangan natin ayusin. Oh, make straight. Meron po tayong mga ugaling baluktot. Now is the time to make straight. Sabi nga, sa Ilocano, yung maganda ang daan, paano sabihin? Napintas ti kalsada. Pero para madaling maintindihan, matandaan, maganda ang daan is okay nga road. Okay nga road. Yun, straight na tayo. And every valley shall be filled. Anong mga malalalim sa buhay mo? Valleys. Ang lalim ng galit mo, ang lalim ng mga tampo mo, ang lalim ng mga kung ano. Patasin na ni Lord. Lord, fill me up. Fill my heart. So much emptiness in my heart. The other one is beautiful. All mount, every mountain and hill shall be made low. Papatagan. Papatas, pa? Papatagin. Ano yung mga mountains natin? Mountains of pride. Mountains of greed. Ito po, Lord, level. Level me. Level me down. And winding roads. So, Lord, ito po ang ating panalangin as we lit the candle of peace. Sisters and brothers, we now say, Lord, please prepare us for the coming of the Lord. And uh, so what is preparation? To welcome. Ayan na, external welcome. Nandiyan na, no? May mga benderetas na tayo. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, Lord. No? All this uh, tinsel town is all about, hey, reminding people that the Lord is coming. I hope it's not just a reminder na my sale, sa mall, ganun. No, no. It's all about. Minsan nga daw po, parang may tampo si Lord. Sabi niya, Santa Claus. By the way, Feast of Santa Claus is tomorrow? Yes. Santa Claus, mabuti ka pa. Malayo pang Pasko. <laughs> Inihintay ka na ng mga tao. Inihintay ka na nila. Ako, binabali, wala lang. Something like that. So preparation, external. May mga nag-Christmas na. Fine, that's okay. But don't forget the internal preparation. Where does it happen? Well, it happens, first of all, if you want to have peace, this is where we should start. Peace of mind. Kapatid, tami ka bang iniisip? You're always overthinking. Walang Christmas, Christmas. Paano ba yung business? You know, it's all about that, work and all these things. Let invite the Lord. Lord, give peace to my mind. Please, Lord. And you know what we ask the Lord today in this Mass for peace? The grace to trust God more. Many of us, we trust on our own efforts, our talents, self-reliance. Okay po yan, but don't forget there are many things which we cannot understand. Trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Number two, peace in the heart. Ito pong napaka-importante. There's no peace of mind and peace of heart. What happens in the heart? Many of us are in the heart over-hurting. Ang dami ka pang mga hurts. You, you don't forgive. Dami kang tampo, matampuhin ka. Rewind ka ng rewind yung nangyari noon, 30 years ago. It's still there. Lord, remove, please. Prepare my heart and give me the grace to forgive. Let's ask the Lord, forgive na. Bahala ka na, Lord, sa mga taong nakasakit sa akin. Pag sinabi mong bahala ka na, Lord, 
Huwag mong sabihin, sige, bahala ka, Lord. Kung gusto mong ma-stroke na siya, ma-bankrupt sila, bahala ka na. Hindi po, kung bahala na siya, huwag ka nang mag-suggestion. Okay? Let go and let God. Third, peace in our hands. Yan. Many of us are so busy. The work of your hands. Palaging ganyan kamay mo. Let your hands not just be for working. Let your hands be made for embracing, sharing, caring, encouraging. So focus on the work of your hands, you forget the love in your heart. Lahat ng ginawa natin in the end, what will it amount to if there was no love? Mother Teresa always tells us, you don't have to do great things. Just do small things with great love. And um, peace, another H is peace in our homes. Kumusta po ang relationship natin, magkakapatid, mga pamangkin? Especially Christmas time. Sana wala na yung over, over quarreling. Away, away. Meron pa nga po, they go to the court already to settle family matters. Sana wag paabutin sa ganon. Pray, pray my dear sisters and brothers, the grace to reach out in humility. Reach out. Wala namang problema ang hindi nasosol sa magandang usapan eh. Humility and honesty. Very important po. Another H where we need peace is peace in our homeland. Bayan natin. Minamahal. Ang bayan ko, tanging ikaw. Only one country. Let's love our country. Mahalin natin ang ating bayan. Dapat po wala nang overfighting dito. Lalo na po pag politiko ng pinag-usapan, marami na pong nagbabagong ugali. So let's have the grace to be humble. Magkakapatid tayo. Reach out, please. And one more. H, where we need peace. Peace in humanity. Overpowering ang ginagawa ng iba. Ninanakaw ang ating mga isla kung ano-ano. This kind of this kind of world, wala eh. Even the vaccines, mga mayayaman, sobra-sobra, yung mga iba, walang-wala. We heal as one. So these are my, our prayers as we light the second candle for peace. The eighth, peace in your head, peace in your heart, peace in your hands, peace in our homes, peace in our homeland, and peace in humanity. Sisters and brothers, please do not give up. Sometimes parang wala na yata mangyayari, Father. You know, the preface of the second Sunday of Advent says it, May He find us watching in watchful in prayer and exultant in His praise. Three Ps kailangan po natin. Number one, pray, pray, pray for more. Number two, patience. Pasensya lang. Ay, tapos ng COVID-19. Eh, dumating naman si again, Omicron. Ah, pasensya, pasensya. And third, persevere. Stay on. Persevere. No matter what happens. Persevere in your faith and trust in the Lord. God will make a way. Is there anything that's bothering you right now? Na parang ang hirap abutin. Okay. Suggestion. Kumanta ka. Sing. I do that. Because when I encounter any um, barriers, I end up singing, God will make a way when it seems there is no way. Yes. He will make a way. 
I remember a story about there was this guy on the curb. Nakalagay doon, the, the end is near, the end is near. May plakang malaki. And here comes a fast car. Nung nakita niya yun, religious fanatics. Ah, Dinire-direcho niya. Then boom, crash. What happened? The bridge ahead had collapsed. The end is near. <laughs> yung pala yun. And I remember crossing in Abra many times before. The road ends. There's a river. Wala na. But God makes a way. So what do you do? You cross the river with your, with your jeep. Ah, we found ways to do that. Pagka meron kang sakristan, he will go. Mauna siya sa mga, oh, this is shallow, Father. Over here, come this way. Shallow, Father. Fine. God makes a way. And if you're all alone, ah, I learned something. You throw a stone on the river. By the sound of that stone, took, oh, boom. Ah, that's a deep part. So, God makes a way. Sisters, brothers, God will make a way. Gagawa ang Panginoon ng paraan. And number two, if you are impatient, what song do you sing? In His time, in His time, He makes all things beautiful. In His time, keep singing that to yourself, mga kapatid. And when you become discouraged, you cannot persevere, what song do you sing? Change my heart, O oh God. Ayun. You see, you have to learn to talk to yourself and help yourself. Dear friends, that's it. Let's continue to have that peace in our hearts. Go back to your heart and there you will find Him. And the good news is, you know, lahat po tayo, we want to change. We want to have peace. The good news is, the Lord Himself will help us. It's not as if it's all our effort. No, He always meets us halfway. Listen to the promise of the Lord in Ezekiel chapter 36, 25 to 28. And as I read this, go into your heart, listen to the Lord telling you, I will help you. I will help you to be clean. I will help you to change. Tuturungan kita, anak, magbago. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities. From all your idols. I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart taking away from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes. Careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people and I will be your God. What a beautiful promise that the Lord will help us in our journey, our desire to be better, to be good as individuals, as a country, as a people, as one world. And for those who are many times discouraged, I read this somewhere I'd like, so like to share with you. God never sends you into a situation alone. He goes before you. He stands beside you. He walks behind you. Whatever situation you have right now, face it with confidence, knowing that God is with you. Lord, give us clean hearts as we prepare help us to go to confession and say sorry to you lord give us joyful hearts with reconciliation 
give us loving hearts that will share to people, especially this Christmas, and give us peaceful hearts in prayer, watchful in prayer, and exultant in His praise. Amen, Lord. Amen.